Hello viewers, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Engineering Projects. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement LED blinking program with Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython programming language. Similar to Raspberry Pi computer, a Raspberry Pi Pico is also featured with general purpose input output pins to access and control peripherals or to communicate data with external devices. The Raspberry Pi Pico pinout reveals that it has 40 pins which includes power, UART, I2C, PWM, ADC, GPIOs, etc. And unlike traditional Raspberry Pi computer, a Raspberry Pi Pico has multifunctional GPIO pins which means they can perform more than one task but only one task at a time and these general purpose input output pins can be used for both digital input as well as digital output functions as we mentioned earlier that in this tutorial we will learn the implementation of led blinking program on raspberry pi pico so here we are going to demonstrate two examples in the first one we will make the Raspberry Pi Pico's onboard LED to blink. The LED is internally connected to GPIO 25 of Raspberry Pi Pico board. And in second example, we will interface an external LED and then we'll make that one blink. So next comes the programming part. Although we have different development environments available for programming the Raspberry Pi Pico board, like Visual Studio Code, Mu, Pycraft IDE, Thony IDE, etc. In this tutorial, we are going to use Thony IDE for programming purpose and we are going to use the MicroPython programming language. In our previous tutorial, we already explained how to install Thony IDE for Raspberry Pi Pico programming. The link is provided in the description. Now let's move towards the programming part. Open the Thony IDE. Connect your Raspberry Pi Pico board to your system. Before programming the board, we need to install the MicroPython firmware in our Raspberry Pi Pico board. And we have already posted a tutorial. You can find the link in description on how to upload MicroPython firmware in Raspberry Pi Pico board. Now from this right corner below select MicroPython for Raspberry Pi Pico. Now you should see this in this shell section that MicroPython version. Now we are ready to program our Raspberry Pi Pico board for LED blinking. Now let's start writing the program to blink the LED, onboard LED. So the first thing is importing the necessary library files. As we are making the LED to blink, so first we need to import the pin library. So from machine import pin and next to add delay, we are importing timer sorry time next we are declaring the led pin we are we are giving the directions like which pin we are using and whether it is input or output so we are using pin number 25 to which the led is connected and the pin mode is output so pin dot out so we are using the while loop to make the led blink continuously so led pin dot toggle function is used to make the led blink and next adding delay time dot sleep like we are adding a delay of one second now let's save the program click on this icon and 
here it's asking like where you want to save the program whether on your system or your raspberry pi let's select raspberry pi pico and save the program with dot pi extension blink dot pi and press ok now click on this run icon now you should see the LED blinking with a delay of one second. So this is our Raspberry Pi Pico development board where you can see the onboard LED which is connected to GPIO 25 is blinking with a delay of one second. We can also use timer to make the LED blink after a particular period of time instead of using while loop and time dot sleep function for that first we need to import the timer from machine so importing timer next we need to define the timer next we need to declare the timer and here we do not need this to import so timer equals to function Now we do not need this while true thing function and again not this time dot sleep. Now we are defining a blink function if we are passing this timer argument. And inside this blink function, we are writing this LED pin dot toggle. Next, we are initializing the timer using timer dot initialize function. Where we need to pass three parameters. That is the frequency and the mode of toggling and the callback function. So. Let's check the frequency 2.5 Hz and then mode will be periodic and a callback function to call this blink function that is blink now again save the program okay so we are already running a code on our raspberry pi so first we need to stop that code so click on this icon and then again click on run okay here it's timer dot periodic and then again save and run now again you should see your LED onboard LED to blink with this 2.5 Hz frequency so that's all for this onboard LED now let's connect an external LED with Raspberry Pi Pico board now let's program the Pico board for peripheral LED interfacing Go to file and then new. The most of the instructions are similar except the GPIO pin number and we can also change the sleep time as per your requirements. So we are importing the pin from machine pin and then import timer for delay time and we are declaring this LED pin and we are using GPIO number 14 to which we have connected the peripheral LED setting the pin as output 1 and while loop 
to continuously blink the LED. LED dot value function is used to set the value of LED as high or low. We are making it high first and then sleep time dot sleep. Let's make it for 0 0.5 seconds. Then again LED value is low. And then time dot sleep again as 0 0.5. Now let's save the program. Now this time let's save it on computer. So let's make it peripheral let's go blink dot pi save click on this icon to run the program okay it's capital T save and then run now you should see that your peripheral LED is blinking with a delay of 0.5 second we can also change the delay time to let's make it one one second then save first let's stop the previous code and then run the new code okay so that's all about the programming part So this is the Raspberry Pi Pico development board and here we are connecting this LED to GPIO number 14 and the anode of LED is connected to GPIO 14 through this resistor and cathode pin is connected to ground. Now we have already uploaded the code in our Raspberry Pi Pico. So now let's make the LED to blink. So you can see that our LED is blinking with a delay of 1 second. So this concludes the tutorial. We hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on Raspberry Pi Pico programming. Till then, goodbye.